If you've ever had the pleasure of attending an art college like I have, then you know that some artists can be really, uh, interesting characters. Actually, the phrase batshit crazy comes to mind. And I mean no offense by that. That's just a sign of your creative genius. Well, maybe your batshit crazy artwork needs to incorporate a different medium, like, say, blood or flesh. Maybe bone marrow. Welcome to Layers of Fear. A first-person psychological horror game played from the perspective of some batshit crazy artist with no name that I can tell. The plot is quite complicated, so I'll spare you the details, but essentially, you're tripping balls and trying to finish a painting of your late wife. Over the course of the game, you relive the traumas haunting the artist who's seeking perhaps some sort of forgiveness, or maybe closure? Or maybe he's just a selfish dick. That's up to you to decide. I, I mean, there are multiple endings. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make here. I can't imagine how long it must have taken to design this demented, deranged world. There really seems to be multiple paths you can take with seemingly different outcomes or random events at every turn. It feels like a normal game, I suppose, control-wise, I mean. But that's really the only normal thing about it. The most random shit can happen in this game, like time warping and melting in front of you. Gravity just says, fuck this basement. Or maybe you're stuck in an endless loop just trying to answer the goddamn phone. Now this is sort of a tangent I'm about to go off on here, so just bear with me a second. Occasionally you'll pick up a note or something to read, but it's only usually a few sentences long. Games have notes to convey story, that's fine, I get it. But if you dump a four-page essay in my lap and go, the plot's in there somewhere, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. But if the note is only a few sentences long, like how Layers of Fear did it, chef's kiss, bruv. You get the social dynamic and backstory of the family members, symbolism and metaphors in the different settings and spaces. This is what storytelling through the environment is all about. This game, in itself, is a work of art. I bet the designers themselves are a prime example of one of those batshit crazy artists I was talking about. The type that draws dicks on everything for no reason. Even incorporating into things, like, well, you're looking at this picture, it's like, damn, that's a really cool picture. And upon closer inspection, you're like, wait a damn minute! That's a penis! What the hell are you talking about, Morbid? Are you saying there's a dick somewhere in this game? No, no, there's, n there's no dicks anywhere. Unless you mean figuratively. Then yes, I guess the protagonist is a bit of a dick, as it turns out. He wasn't exactly loving and caring towards his wife and daughter. And as a result, their malevolent souls hunt you throughout the game. You'll be walking down some hallway, then suddenly the words don't look back appear above you. Now, I know I shouldn't, but I am the curious type, so... Explore this mental purgatory and solve puzzles and collect totems, essentially. A nice sprinkle of jump scare and what the fuck is actually going on here. It's just a really cool, creepy experience, man. However, I do have a few gripes with this game. It is basically a spooky walking simulator. Not 100%, like 80% walking sim. Fans of this game may have beef with that, but I'm just being honest. The majority of the time, we're just getting from point A to point B. That brings me to my second point. I did mention that there seems to be multiple paths, which there may very well be, but they all arrive at the same final destination. So really, at its core, Layers of Fear is a semi-linear walking simulator. That's really all I can say about Layers of Fear for now. It is a work of art. You experience all its beauty, then you move on to the next. It falls under the same category as Moons of Madness in my book. A cool experience with a few different outcomes available, but ultimately not super replayable. It may be your type of game, it might not. I'll leave that up to you. Maybe someone in the comment section who's played that game can tell you whether or not to purchase. Nudge nudge wink wink. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more morbid content. Peace.